Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme 20MF model laptop. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to get into BIOS due to reinstall Windows operating system in UEFI environment. So first of all, you should have the correct bootable USB thumb drive. If you don't know how to create one, that is very simple to create. Uh, the video link would be in the description so you can create one but if you do have already then it's pretty simple just connect it power it up and try to press enter button simultaneously see we are late and that's the reason why it did not successful so once again press and hold the power button if it does happen same thing and then press it back on and before you see anything on the screen, keep pressing enter button. In that way, you can get into the temporary option. And if you press F1, that would take you directly to the BIOS screen. All right. So after pressing enter button, you must need to wait and quickly press the F1 button to get into BIOS. So here are a few menus, as you can see the main section, config, date and time and everything. So in the main section, there is nothing. We're going to go into config and there are two options, as you can see the USB heat enter and USB EFI BIOS support is enabled. So in case if your one is disabled, then make sure you make it enabled by pressing the enter button and selecting the correct one. Always one USB also has to be enabled. So that's all and then get back to storage from here as you can see the controller mode AHCI and RST mode always keep it on AHCI is going to give you a warning that if you change that mood you're going to lose all your data so if you have any important data please don't change it before you change make sure you back up your data in the right place all right so press ESC button to go back to the main menu and now we're going to go back to the security section and from here we're going to find secure boot option and TPM those are the two options so if you would like to install Windows 11 go to the TPM and make sure that is enabled so how are you going to select enable and disable by pressing enter then up and down arrow to select the correct one now let's go down to the secure boot and from here we're going to press enter as you can see this is already enabled in case if your one is disabled make sure you leave it on enable section and pretty much that's all for UEFI but remember if you don't want UEFI and if you would like to get into legacy then you have to make this secure boot disabled all right so UEFI and legacy both of them are the opposite each other so save the changes hit enter the system gonna restart keep pressing the enter button and press F12 to get into temporary boot option all right you have to be very quick otherwise it would not be successful so now from here I'm gonna go down to the USB HDD which is my bootable USB Windows 10 thumb drive and I'm gonna hit enter all right that's the one so now once we hit enter it should be successful it seems it's loading up my actual usb is very cheap from amazon so if you do have cheap and slow usb then it would take uh, longer to see anything on the screen i mean the windows setup page so don't be confused don't do panic if you don't see anything on the screen give it a time about couple of minutes at least and then here we go we can see the actual Windows logo and now once we see the blue screen this is the Windows setup page now it's pretty simple I believe everybody you guys know how to do if you don't then I'm gonna keep continue and show you until the end if the Windows reinstallation is successful or not so now from here we're gonna accept the terms and condition to go next then we're gonna hit on next button 
Now there are two options, one upgrade, another one custom. Remember, if you would like the clean installation, go for customs option. Now here are many partition. I'm going to delete all of them because I want fully clean, you know, default installation. But if you delete all those partition, you're going to lose your existing data. Once again, back it up before you change or delete or format any partition. So I'm going to delete one by one. All right, so now there is a single drive. If you would like, you can make two partition, three, whatever you like. Just for video purpose, I'm going to show you how to create. So click on new. And then from here, you need to choose the amount, the actual size. So I'm going to make half of it. So for instead of four, I'm going to put two and apply. OK. Now, as you can see, there are two partition plus all other additionals. Don't worry about it. The last one, I'm going to click on new again. That's all. Now I'm going to choose the bigger one for Windows. Hit next. This is the main process now. So now this would copy every single files and folders. Just give it a time. It would take 10, 10 minutes maximum, 10 to 12 minutes because the actual system is very fast. It came with Core i7 8 Gen 2.6 GHz, 32 GB DDR4 RAM, 1 TB SSD, and such a good integrated graphics card, which is 2 GB, you know. So let's carry on. I'm going to pause the video until its end and we'll finally see if it is successful or not. So pretty much that's all. It's all working now. Thanks for watching. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.